We are not in the lightning rod business. We are, our products actually prevent the lightning strike by discharging the electric field up in the air. This is a very old principle, goes back more than 250 years to Benjamin Franklin when he observed that a sharp point pointing up into the sky emits a, what he called a silent current. And it's a tiny stream of electricity that actually flows into the air. The only thing that he didn't have was the instrumentation to measure how much that electric current was. And we have learned over the years that if you put a whole large number of points pointing up into the air, that it has adequate capacity. His lightning rods sometimes attracted lightning rather than discharging. And so the technology of nowadays is to put a whole lot of points up there and bring the electric field voltage down below the threshold required for lightning. Here's a typical product right here. You can see a lot of little stainless steel wires projecting up into the air. When the storm cloud comes overhead, a thunderstorm cloud, uh, an enormous voltage develops between the bottom of the cloud and the surface of the earth. It can be up in the millions of volts and it gets to that point. Uh, electricity flows from each one of these little points. In the dark you can actually see a blue glow flowing out into the air and this uh, dissipates the field voltage down below the point where lightning will happen. Bear in mind that the taller a structure is, the more vulnerable it is because it penetrates deep, more deeply into the electric field between the earth and the cloud bottom. Electric field is measured in volts per meter going from the ground up to the bottom of the cloud and then when it exceeds about 10,000 volts per meter you can have lightning strike and obviously it doesn't take very many meters before you're into the millions of volts. We learned many years ago that while you can protect the top of a tower from a lightning strike, at the same time, uh, you, while you protected the top on a very tall tower, you can have a strike come in sideways. And so we put these on the side at intervals of about 200 to 250 feet. This will success adequately uh, discharge that field alongside the tower as well as that at the top. Uh, we have these things on towers as tall as 2,000 feet television towers. I need to tell you that it is very possible to prevent lightning from striking. A lot of people, uh, lightning rods are so traditional that they believe you must have a lightning rod and this is not correct. If you have adequate dissipation capacity on enough sharp points up in the air to discharge that electric field that goes up to the cloud, the voltage will be low enough that it will not reach the threshold of lightning and we will prevent lightning rather than taking a lightning strike.